Be a... What's the trouble, Sayor? Bad news? You'll swear find out where you are once you come home, eh? Yeah. I got a nice little invitation from the chief of police of San Francisco. Some dirty rat stooled on me and told where I was. Oh, they'd have to want you pretty bad to come 2,500 miles through the jungle to get you. Forget it. Have a drink. We're all in the same boat, but we are safe here. That is right. As long as Manlud and his boss here, the police never come in. Yeah, but just the same. I'd give my eye teeth to get out of this dump. Oh, it won't be so bad when we get a few white women around here. <laughs> What's the matter with Loma? Oh, nothing. You're a swell. But you see, you don't understand. Us gentlemen, we prefer blondes. <laughs> Hello, boys. Hello, Hello Ronnie. Ronnie. What's the matter? You're not going yet. One drink and I'm on my way to the boat. Here. Oh. Well, boys, here's hoping you like your women. <laughs> Say, when you get down that river landing and you find my woman in a real blonde, throw her overboard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting in anyone's hair these days. I haul him here and you marry him. <laughs> <laughs> you no send for a white wife too, Sayor. Who, me? I hate women. I'm a bachelor. My father was a bachelor. And I'm going to raise all my children to be bachelors. Infelicious, <laughs> <laughs> imbecile. Goodbye, Big Tail. Goodbye, Doc. Uh, hey, what's your chip? Right, Doc. Go on, Brian. Hey, Brownie, don't forget, bring him back alive. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, ain't this going to be great, huh? Oh, I think it's going to be all right. Come on. Hello, Gary. We land tomorrow. My word, how ripping! Yeah, and a couple of rips. After we land, they pack us 500 miles through the jungle before we ever reach La Grasso. I tank, I go home. Oh, why don't you? Well, what did you find out about this Van Newton? Oh, nothing much, except that he owns La Grasso and is partial to blonde. Oh, high blonde pressure, eh? Mm-hmm. That reminds me, dearie. With Von Luden so partial to blonde, and a dirty guy when he's double crossed, what are you gonna do when you run out of peroxide? Holy smokes, ain't there no drugstores in Lotta Grasso? Not according to the skipper. Nothing but grass huts and. My word! Well, if it ain't Mrs. Asterbilt herself. Hello, kid. Take a load off your feet. Thanks. What's on your mind? I couldn't help overhearing your conversation about Lotta Grasso. So what? I'm going there, too. Well, <laughs> I've been a yumping yimini. Fancy that. And she's been high-hatting us. <laughs> Can you beat it? Why didn't it? Yeah, so you're a picture guy, too, huh? What do you mean? Well, you're going there to get married, ain't you? Certainly not. I'm going there to be a hostess. Hostess? Mm. To what? Why, to the tourist, of course. Well, I've heard he called a lot of things. Well, that's what you want on me. It's true. I was hired in New Orleans. Ah, oh, that's a lot of hooey. Sounds like a lot of pistols to me. I think she'd say nuts. Well, I'll 
Leah. Imagine her pulling that innocent stuff on us. Why, well, I have a good mind to go in there and... Oh, lay off. Maybe the kid's lonesome or something. She ought to be. I say, uh, uh, you know, maybe this Von Luton, uh, well, maybe he likes still water. Well, she ain't too deep for me. A little snob. <laughs> Now she's pulling the baby stuff. Oh, cut it out. Maybe she's lonesome or something. And two is eight. <laughs> the little helper. <laughs> What's the matter, kid? Getting cold feet? Or is it just the heat? Well, even I'll admit this business of marrying a blind date in the diamond mines ain't gonna be no better roses. But you're in the army now, baby. So you might as well be sociable. But I don't understand. I'm not marrying anyone. See, Marcel gave me this. I was hungry, broke. He said this Van Luden would give me work. He sent me money, enough for my passage. This is all you got? You mean you ain't got a picture of the guy who sent for you? A diamond miner who wants to marry you? A thing like this? No. Suffering mackerel. Why, the dirty... Don't tell us the gal ain't got a tag. You mean I have to have one of these? That it's important? Important? <laughs> Why do you think I keep mine right around my extra rib? Yeah, if you ain't labeled, you're out of luck. And even if you are labeled and you don't click, well, they... and throw you to the alligators in the swamps. I think I go home. Yeah, you're sure in a tough spot, kid. I'd hate to be in your shoes. My word, what a predicament. Oh, scram. Wait a minute. Even if they did dock this crate to let you off, you'd need more than a pair of roller skates to get you out of this jungle. Yeah, for herself. I got my ticket. Paying them diamond miners rich. Sure. They can't go anywhere to spend their dough, because if they left this place, they'd wind up in the electric chair. Or some who's go anywhere from London to Frisco. Gee, kid. Maybe it ain't as bad as it sounds. I haven't any money. I can't go back. And even if I could, what am I going to do? <laughs> oh, just a minute. With the heat and all, it's tough enough without having a sick kid on my hands. And you think there's a chance? Sure. Anyhow, there ain't any place on the globe, even lot of Grasso, that's so tough there ain't somebody who'll buy you a ticket to decency. I know. Gee, you're nice. Oh, forget it. You better hit the hay so you'll be in shape for that jungle ride tomorrow. Good night. Good night. And thanks. General, that's Vaughn's method, not mine. All right, then. Come on, here. come on. Come on, here. come on. Come on, come on. Come on, you. Snap out of it there, you. A message for you from the door. All right, Rambo. The cart's going in in a minute. You can ride in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, General. Hey. Joe, Bill. Yeah. Joe. Yeah. Come here. I got some news for you. What is it? I got a note from Von Luden. He says your women are due in tonight. You better finish up here and come on in. Hey, that's, oh, hey, that's good news. Say, Dave, 
Does a man need to shave when he gets married? No, all he needs is a weak mind. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, he don't seem so hard about getting married. Why'd he send for a day? You know why. Why, sure. He'd have never done it, only Von Luden egged him into the bed. Oh, yeah, that's right. Come on, let's get finished with the whole thing. Oh, come on, come you, on you guys. What a place. Maybe we book for a circus instead of matrimony. My word. They have everything here but tattooed women and snake charmers. We're the snake charmers, baby. You get what I mean. I pay no light snake. Oh, it ain't so bad when you get used to it. <laughs> I think I'll open a tailor shop. They seem to be doing a ripping business down here. Aren't there any white people around here? Sure, there's the overseers, Dave Hart, Doc Rogers and his kid, Mateo, and Von Luden. What's this Von Luden like? Oh, he's... Uh, 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 That's the big shop, Von Luden. But you are cheating me, you are. For two years I slept in the mine. And you'd pay me nothing. Oh, how terrible. Steady, kid. You dirty swine. Throw him in the scrum. But he isn't dead. I said throw him in the scrum. Peter, go get it. Pick it up. Wait a minute. Hey, Doc, take him down to my place and fix him up. Hey, Dave. Could you come inside? I would like to speak to you a moment. Sure. Come on. I gotta sit down. Oh, ma'am, I'm afraid. I'm scared to death. Wait a minute, Peanuts. Who's that guy who interfered? Brownie's my name. Mushy Brown, ex-lightweight champion of the U.S. I get you. My mistake. Hurry up. Who's the guy with the dirty mug and the big heart? That's my pal, Dave Hart, Von Luden's partner in the mine. Been buried down here in this mud for three years. That's enough. Hey, give me that card you got from Marcel. Come on, hurry. Here. Listen, Mug, you look like you can keep your mouth shut. Yes, ma'am. Okay, then get this. This kid's on the level. She don't know what it's all about. She, not me, is gonna marry your pal, Mr. Hart. But me? Now that goes. Keep your chin up and do your stuff. But who did send for her? Nobody. She was Shanghai. But I know one bloodthirsty reptile that's gonna hold a sack in this deal. You mean Von Luden? Gee, you are kind of bright, ain't you? Yes, ma'am. And listen, not that he ain't getting a better deal than what he had, but what Hart don't know either won't hurt him. Get me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's go. But, ma'am, I can't... Now, you. don't be a sap. Buzzards like this Von Luden are right up my alley. There's no use of you getting excited about this. Hey, listen, who is running this town, you or me? You are. But remember, these natives are human, and you... Never might... mind! What I say goes. Well, that's obvious, but I'm just trying to warn you. Oh, you warning me, huh? Wait a minute, I'll show you something. Take a look at these. They might prove interesting. Very interesting. I thought you would think so. Of course, you are my partner. And I wouldn't do anything to help you. Yeah, I know. No, you keep them. They might be just as a souvenir. Thanks. Castro! Yes, they are. Tend into women. Very well. How do you do? Well, you, uh, 
You are the young lady my very good friend Marcel sent from New Orleans. But hmm? I... Sorry, big shot, but your guess is out of whack. What? Yeah. This... This is the man who sent for me. Hmm. Ah. That must be your guy. Yeah. Dave. Yeah. Come sit back your picture to Le Pagasso. I'm not interested. Uh, if it's okay with you, she can take the next boat back, and you can collect a bet. But, Dave... It's worth a thousand bucks to have the distinction of sending one of them back without a wedding ring. Say, does he mean he doesn't want to marry her? Well, it is unfortunate he is so stupid. What? You would be my guest until the next boat to Portega? I don't want to wait until the next boat. I want to go now, if... if he doesn't want me. Dave, why don't you take a look at her? Well, he said it. There is no other boat for a month. But until then, my house is your house. Brownie, take the lady's baggage to the castle. Hey, wait a minute, Vaughn. I've changed my mind. Brownie, take her home. Tell Doc to dust off the prayer book. Hey, I got a note for you, teacher. Ah, Marcel has the taste of a baboon. You go back in the next boat. Oh, yeah? Well, that don't hurt my feelings none, big boy. But in the meantime, where do I park the body? Castro will take care of you when he comes back. Now, rouse me, dear. Hmm. Unless that's a dirty crack. You mean get out? Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to be sure. Ron changes his mind, and von Luden pays the bet. With my compliments. Thanks. Have a drink. Yeah, ja, danke. Oh, I must tell you about my plan. You don't think that my partner and my friend could get married without von Luden making it a big event here in Lata Grasso? Yeah. Lata Grasso needs to be impressed. Yeah. Well, look. Tonight at my place, we have two weddings. All of them. The generals and Joes and Phils and yours. And then we have a big party and a fine feast, yeah? Okay. But your generosity is killing me. Yeah. To the brides. To the brides. Bless them and heaven help them. Yeah. For the love of Pete. Like it? It's real. And suffering cats look at the headlights. But how in the world do you suppose he managed these things here in the wilderness? He? Oh, you mean your oncoming spouse. Uh, what's his name? Hart? Dave Hart? Uh-huh. I haven't seen him, though, since down at the bar this afternoon. Mm. A native who almost frightened me out of my wits popped in the minute Brownie left planted a box with this dress and things in my lap and ran out without a word. Well, hmm. Not a bad joint you fell into. Wait till you get a load of the cannibals' garage they parked me in. Garage? Yeah. With a medicine man on one side of me and the local stockyard on the other. Stockyard? Yeah. Oxes. Gold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess I can stand it till the next boat gets in. Then when Luden is going to let you go? Sure. He took one look at my pan and my bunions. Between the two, they turned the trick. 
Oh, Mame, I can never tell you. Hey, cut that Mame stuff. That's your Monica now, whether you like it or not, see? Well, 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 if we ain't got a visitor. Hello. Say, he ain't deaf and dumb because I heard him myself this afternoon. Oh, he just got a lot on his mind. I bet. Gee, you look swell. And you ain't so bad either. Yeah, and I see you got your laundry back. <laughs> you like it? Why not? Coming to Bond's party, ain't you? A party? Sure, at Bond's castle. Say, will you get a look at this joint? I'll bet it costs a quarter of a million to transplant the Louis chairs and junk down here in no man's land. Oh, so he's a moated millionaire. And he really knows how to throw a party? Well, anyhow, we call them parties before the fight starts. Try and keep me away. With a champagne leather pusher for a partner. You mean the big boss passed up your ticket? Sure. I'm just the babe in the woods. I want to thank you for reconsidering this afternoon. Yeah? And for sending all these lovely things, this dress and the necklace and... You can say that for Von Luden. Flatters his ego to furnish the costumes for the brides. And among other things, he considers himself quite a connoisseur of feminine weaknesses. Would you prefer that I didn't wear them? Suit yourself. They represent what you came for, don't they? Now what? Don't tell me you're battling before you tie the knot. Here. Take them away. Wear them yourself. Do anything you want with them. Why, with pleasure, dearie. But I'll show him what he's marrying. Imagine that one being shocked. Oh, get back in line, you big slug. Oh, pipe down, you. What's the... Uh, hey, 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 come on now, listen. We came here for fun. We didn't come here to fight. I want to go home. It's a great idea, baby. Well, let's look at her. She started it. She shouldn't do that. Oh, she that gets in my head. Well, now, we... You think, Doc, wait a minute, you think a man should ever get married? Uh, well, uh, it all depends. Goodbye, goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, uh. You, you are interested in my tapestry? Yes. It's lovely. Very old, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is the 17th century. And you see... Oh! You broken oh. pig! Boom! Come on, Oxford! 
tú. Disculpe, señor. Come, Laomi, she help you fix it up upstairs. Come. And what did you do then? Well, I jabbed him back. Did you? Hmm. Finish the first round. Second round. Well, wait a minute. I, I didn't hear what you were saying. Tell me again. Well, I don't know Phil Mazelfi's fight was. First round, he was winning. I was getting mad. Without feces, without needle and thread. You wait here. Now who will she bring him? I was getting terrible mad this time. I turn and give him a hit. Who won? You think you trick for Luden, huh? Man. What's your idea? The kid's on the spot with Bob. She's on the left of you, dummy. She's your wife. Who? Mary! Oh, Mary! She's up there in the bedroom. Mary! 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 Open this door. Next round, I sucked him. Yeah? Right. Come on, get up here. Hey, get on your feet. What's that? What's that? Come here. <laughs> Say, I'm I'm sorry about what happened tonight. She'll be all right. Debra, 
I'm telling you, Vaughn's got enough power to hang that guy. Yeah, I guess you're right. You know I must. Come on here, bud. Get on. Father, on. did you hear what they said? Yes, yes. It seemed your heart is in trouble with Vaughn Newton. Yes, yes, I know. They had a big fight last night. Oh, but Father... Dave I... should know better than to cross Vaughn. Oh, but he wouldn't dare kill Senior Hart. Well, I wouldn't put anything past that big bully. Get this to Captain Telsor, the chief of police in Portega. But, senor, it will take too long for the American officer to get here. Why wait? The swamps are wide and deep. It would be easy. But it pleases me to wait. I'll have the pleasure of turning him over and seeing him rot in prison. And uh, what about Brownie, senor? He'll be along to keep Hart company. And Dave Hart's wife, senor? That is my affair. Get going. Buenos dias, senor. And that's the reason they switched tags. Name gave me the whole lowdown last night about this guy in New Orleans railroading the kid because she was hungry enough to take a job anywhere. She'd have been better off if she'd starved to death. Oh, cut it out. You're not the best guy in the world. But she could have done worse. Hey, Dave. How... Do you mind if I let Mame have my room while she's here? That native doghouse Vaughn's got her parked in his... Uh, it might be a good idea. Thanks, Dave. What are you going to do with that? Could you ever handle one of these, Mary? Mary? Yeah, uh, Brownie told me all about you. Oh. I'm going to leave this here. You might need it. I'm up to mine a good bit. Uh, if you ever want me for anything, Willie's a fast runner. Thanks. Thanks for everything. Say, can you cook? I'm fair. Well, Willie's pretty awful. Can you sew? I made this dress. Not bad. Try your hand at that. Have you a needle and thread? You know, to sew with. Oh, yes, Missy. In a drawer, print away everything. Plenty of everything is right. <laughs> I would give me the buggiest room in this rotten hotel. Ooh, what a night! I got a fix with Dave to let you have my room up at the house. You mean you're offering me your bunk? Oh, I won't mind this hole. I can get Doc to dig me up a cot out of the storeroom. Gee, are you a pal? Stick around till I find my toothbrush. Oh. Uh, 
I'll wait outside. But you got a new border. You going to stay here with us? Sure, Dave invited her. That's great. Mm-hmm. Brownie's swapping bunks with me. Says he can handle bugs. Was it as bad as that? Bad? <laughs> Say, I scratched enough the last three hours to be convicted of necking a porcupine. <laughs> hey, what's the chances of getting something to eat? I'll get you something in a minute. Okay. Oh! Oh! What's the trouble? Oh, hurry up. Huh? Hurry up, what before it gets too personal. What? Oh, come on, hurry up. Here? No, there. There? No, here. Here? Inside. Oh. Oh. Hey. There. Oh. Ow. Ooh. Ah. I got it. It's a Brazilian dinkus. Friend of yours. Oh, have it stuffed. Well, big on the food. Wilt thou, Bill Town, have this woman, Flo Lane, to be thy wedded wife, to live together after God's ordinance in the sacred estate of matrimony? Oh, yeah, sure. Wilt thou, Flo Lane, have this man, Bill Town, to be thy lawful wedded husband? Yeah. Ain't it sad? Oh. You want the rest of it, you bloated Indian giver? Ah! And now, solemnly promising before God and in the presence of these witnesses, wilt thou, David Hart, have this woman, Mame Smith, to be thy wedded wife, to live together after God's ordinance in the sacred estate of matrimony? I do. Wilt thou, Mame Smith, have this man, David Hart, to be thy wedded husband? to live together after God's ordinance in the sacred estate of matrimony. I do. Where as much as David Hart and Mame Smith have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and this company, I do pronounce them man and wife. What God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Amen. Give us a little kiss, will you, babe? Well, if I must, Mark's I must. Mark's word, I did pick a jolly oh, little thing. Why, what a jolly little thing. Oh, <laughs> Come on, baby. You finish your story. Tell me what happened. And Mame slipped it over on Von Lusen with Heartland and Miss Innocence, and Mame holding the sack. <laughs> Ain't it great? <laughs> 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 New definition of a gigolo. Come in, Daddy. Oh. 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 Pardon me. Ah, I've got a new story for you. Once upon a time, there were three bears: the father bear, the mother bear, and the little sexy bear. <laughs> <laughs> you like that one? Yeah. I thought so. And so, she tricked you out of these white grooms you wanted for yourself. 
my pleasure to witness the first operation of my life. And uh, I happen to have the pleasure of seeing this patient years afterwards when they waited to see if the results were satisfactory. They were? They were satisfactory. I think the time is right. You do as I say. When you get some chance, you use some excuse to get her into my room and leave her there alone. Yeah, that's him all right, but he's Von Luden's partner, and you have a fine time getting him out. Evidently, this Von Luden has got other ideas. Sure, the insurance company ain't sending us around the globe for nothing. We're taking it back, all right, along with the next pug called Brownie. You mean if you don't drown before you get out? Having lots of rain up there in the interior. Dave. Yes? Worry? Is it because Vaughn is making things so disagreeable for you? Oh, no. He stays out of my way. But he treats the natives like helpless dogs. Dave, why don't you pull up stakes? Go back and take your medicine. What do you mean? They don't talk much here in Lada Grasso. I've known ever since I mended your coat that first day. Well, it won't be long now with the boat only a couple of days down the river. I, I'm not much good, and I guess I'll always be buried in this hole. But, but, oh, gee, I... Say, are you trying to... Yes. You mean you want to marry me? Tie yourself up in the knot with me? Oh, I ain't never felt this way about a gal before, man. I'm crazy about you. And I guess you know it, don't you? Gee, I, gee, I think I'm going to fall. Well, if you want a little time, we can start to be engaged like they do back home. They don't make rings down here, you know. But I've been saving this just for you. A rock. Huh. What am I supposed to do? Knock my brains out before you can hold me to the altar? It's a diamond. 
A what? A diamond in the rough. Ah, quit kidding. No. It'll cut down to about 15 carats. Hmm? 15 carats? Holy smoke, that's bigger than the torch in the Statue of Liberty. Almost. Brownie! Oh! I, I guess I'd better get you home before we have to swim back. Are you sure that funny bird's nest don't leak? I'd hate to have you get pneumonia and croak before we can tie the knot. I won't. Night. So listen to me, Vaughn. That river truck, it's in tomorrow. My wife and I will be on it when it goes out. I want $250,000. It's my share of what we took out of the mine. Yeah, yeah. You, then you mean you will wait for the river truck? Certainly. You know a woman can't pack through the jungle. Yeah, yeah. But uh, what about your share of the mine? I'm making a present of it to Brownie. All I want is what I took out. Ah, then I have the money when the river truck arrives. Yeah. Yeah. You see that you do. Yeah, yeah. How do you like it, young lady? Oh, it's lovely. It was certainly nice of you to make my first real long dress. Your 18th birthday only comes once in a lifetime, dear. Yeah. It's like a beautiful dream. So well while it lasts. My father will be so surprised when he sees me like this. Can't you do something about my hair? So that I'll look really grown up? Well... Turn around, I'll see what I can do. There. What a picture. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Boy, I'm glad my competition days are over in Lisburg. <laughs> Isn't she sweet? Well, well. Hey, it's Mateo. Why, of course. <laughs> Do you like it? Well, I think you look pretty swell. Thank you. How do you do, Mateo? Well, 
What is this? Today is my 18th birthday. See, I'm a woman. Yeah, yeah, you are a woman. And you have grown up. And so quick, Miss Farr. Hello, Wombo. Hello, Wombo. Ah. Mateo! Mateo! I ain't seen her since yesterday, boss. She went up to Miss Hart. Maybe she stayed there all night. Miss Hart? Yes, sir. If he doesn't come down here pretty soon, I'm going up to the house and drag him down to this safe. He will come, Sayor. He will come. Well, how are you doing? Fine. Come in. Good morning. Hello, Doc. Well, he ain't the preacher himself. You're just the guy I want to see. As soon as Ronnie gets the truck in, they're going to get married. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I'm changing my quarters for a better half. Go on. Wait a minute. My engagement ring. Say, that's a fine specimen. Mm-hmm. So they tell me. You know, it's a good thing he didn't give me a necklace. It would choke me to death. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to see you go. Why don't you come back to the States with us? I, I wish I could. Have you seen that wild child of mine, Mateo? Not since yesterday. Why, didn't she spend the night here with you? Why, no. Swamp, sir. Oh, no, you don't. You're sticking right here till we're ready to take you back. What's the idea, Luden, of framing Dave and me? <laughs> Won't you come inside, please, gentlemen? Sure. <laughs> come on. It's about time you Hey, Dave! Let me alone, you bohunk. Vaughn's framed us. I drew a boatload of dicks. Ah, never mind him. There is your other man, gentlemen. Well, Hart, three years is a long time, but we do get them occasionally.
Dr. Jones. Well, that's what I'm trying to tell you, don't you understand? I wanted my money from the mine so I could pay off, go back to civilization and take what's coming to me. <laughs> ah, he's crazy. Verricht. I don't know anything about $250,000 that was his share of the mine. Yeah, they've always got an alibi. <laughs> 20 yeah. years for life is a long time, Hart. Steve, there's the bank's 150,000. Fine. And there's your reward. Thanks. Hmm. And don't forget, we'll be waiting for you when Brownie sells the mine. Well, Hart, this will make it easier. You might even get probation. <laughs> I hope you're right. Gee, Maine, isn't that great? Sure. Say, can you do as much for my guy? Sure. He's a cinch. Yeah, we'll make it a wedding present. Hey, come here. Hurry back. And listen, don't forget to put on your rubber boots when you're digging your way out of the swamp. Okay, Mrs. Mushy Brown. 